Hey team, so I'm out here today doing some pricking out and I thought why don't I make a video to show you guys this pricking out process. It's pretty integral to um, the growing process from seed. So I'll just show you what I do. It seems to work for me. I'm sure everyone's got slightly different techniques. Um, okay, so what I've got here, I've got some marpo and some tecoka, some cabbage trees. So I've started pricking these out. Um, so I'll show you how I go about it. But first of all, all the gear. Basically, we want to prick out these individual um, seedlings into individual pots these guys here they're about 90 mil by 90 mil so what i need a bunch of pots i'm going to pop these into a seed tray just for transportation to my greenhouse um, i've got my potty mix this is just your standard um, potty mix to go into i've got a bucket of water here with my dispenser which i'm just going to water the seedlings once i prick them out and this little tool here uh, it's just a piece of bamboo um, of sort of made the end into a bit of a point and I'm going to use that to help me when I'm pricking out these individual seedlings because these guys are growing quite close together um, this tool is going to just help me separate them out and help support this uh, the roots as I pick them out okay team I'll show you how we're doing this marpo first so I've got my pot here so I'm just going to fill that about 90% full of potting mix like so just make a bit of a hole in the middle now we need to separate our marpo you can see there's been an excellent strike from the seed so these guys have grown really close together but that's okay we'll still be able to prick them out so i'm going to select a good looking one here this looks like a good specimen i'm just going to use my tool to get underneath the roots and just gently help with pressure from below and just as i pull from the top gently quite close growing together but that's okay there we go you can see there the root structure pretty healthy so now I'm just going to pop them into my pot here, into that hole I made. I'm trying to keep um, the seedling level, the base of the roots level with where it was in the seed tray. So just adding some potting mix around the sky. You're just going to firm it down slightly. You don't want to be firming too hard to damage the roots just a little bit. It's in the pot quite nicely. Now just a little bit of water. Slight water. And we're good to go. All right, folks, we are going to move on to the Tikoka now, the cabbage tree in. This is pretty much exactly the same process as what we've done for the marpo here. We're going to um, use a tool to help tease out the seedlings to the uh, individual pots. So first off I'll get my potting mix again. Make my hole there. I'm gonna get my seedling out, making sure to hold very close to where it enters the potting mix, not high up on the leaf. Help, help tease that out. And again, awesome roots here. So these guys have been doing really well. They should grow well for us into the pot. And I can just actually firm that a little bit like so first and then and grab the extra potting mix. Make it on there. Bit of water. And we are good to go. Easy as that. But I'll just do a couple more of these tikaka so you guys can get a feel for it. You don't want to pull it straight out because you can snap the roots off, but there we go, these guys are looking really healthy. So there we have it. So the objective from now is let these grow bigger until they get too big for this pot and then next we'll pot them onto PB3 bags so they can grow bigger again and 
for this species once they reach that um, capacity in a PB3 they'll be ready to plant out. Well team that's pretty much all there is to the cooking out process. Um, as you saw pretty straightforward nothing too in depth. One thing I did uh, forget to mention at the start is make sure your seed tray is nice and wet so give it a water first that just helps um, the roots come out of that uh, potting mix better so less likely to damage. Um, yeah so we've seen mapo and cabbage tree today but this process rings true for pretty much all our native species. Um, not too complicated. I guess uh, the hard part is just getting through the multitude of seedlings we've got now. So um, that's my next job. Luckily it's uh, clouded over a bit. It's not quite as hot. So I'm going to crack on with that. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and happy planting. Thank you.